Hello, I'm Alex Kalaskov and uh, I'd like to introduce the uh, second part of the course to you. Originally, we were planning to shoot only uh, Julie on a model, uh, but then uh, I decided to shoot second part of the course uh, where we will shoot the same jewelry pieces uh, on the table basically uh, still life jewelry photography or tabletop jewelry photography i want to to make it into a complete set of lessons uh, which will cover everything that you need to uh, know about uh, shooting jewelry specifically uh, jewelry that we present you on this course uh, jewelry with large gemstones okay and uh, on this second part, I try to uh, make it as simple as possible, meaning that you won't find really sophisticated lighting setups. I try to make it really easy, uh, really easy to implement and uh, kind of gave you uh, basically a shortcut. The fastest and simplest way uh, to shoot jewelry uh, with light gemstones. So everything you will see, uh, you can repeat with almost any light, it can be continuous, it can be even tabletop lamps. Uh, you need to do a little bit of uh, light modifiers, do it yourself light modifiers, or you can buy them. Uh, but uh, you know, in terms of diffusers, I'm using do it myself uh, diffusers, which is uh, really easy to modify, to make. Uh, they cost nothing and they provide a solution for any task in jewelry photography. We make it as simple as possible. Uh, we didn't use uh, focus stacking, for example. Uh, you see that uh, what is possible to get uh, with just a single shot, okay? And uh, on post-production part, you will find very interesting techniques uh, from Jenny Rionova, from our retoucher. Uh, she never had used them before. This is something new that uh, she learned uh, about how to polish metal uh, and uh, uh, facets of uh, those glossy gemstones and it's truly amazing technique uh, besides needs to be applied on a jewelry before uh, you can release it to the client uh, making sure that it looks perfect so the best way to get this part is as a second part uh, of the course uh, after uh, the modeling part however if you're not really going to work with model and uh, you just need a tabletop uh, you can treat this as a standalone course because, again, you will get everything you need from it. See you on the course.